Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing the meet the artist tag but I just want to talk about something else before I talk about the artwork. So I'm actually doing the Fan Art Feb daily upload challenge with Claire from Black Summer Colouring and I need topics to talk about for the videos. I have some ideas of certain things I do want to talk about but not enough to fill 28 days worth. So if you guys have any questions, I'll do like another, I know I've done a Q&A video on my channel, but if you have any other questions, or if you want me to elaborate on some of those questions maybe, then please leave them in the comments below for me. Just so then I have something to talk about. Because <laughs> it's gonna be a little awkward doing a voiceover every day if I've just got to kind of ramble on about the pieces. And I, there's only so much I can talk about like the fan art itself, like the show and everything. I mean, I can give reviews on certain shows, but then that still probably won't work for every single video, and it might get a bit boring, so yeah. But anyway, onto the artwork. For my Meet the Artist piece, I really wanted to show myself as who I am that's not just an artist, because yes, I am an artist, but I'm also a mom. So I wanted to draw the relationship I have with my daughter and like sort of show me because normally like you see me on here when I put do my face to camera and I got my hair down or done or something and I normally put my glasses on because I only actually need those for concentration work but I put those on to hide the big bags under my eyes and I've normally got my hair scraped back into a bun or a ponytail and I did show I've got an undercut that's actually grown out as well and I wanted to get that on there and I tend to just wear the same sort of clothes every day like jeans and usually a Harry Potter t-shirt. Today I have a Gryffindor t-shirt and yesterday was Hufflepuff I think but the one I normally wear is the one that I've got on here which has got the Deathly Hallow symbol. Um, but yeah when it came to doing the uh, the what's in my bag part as well it was quite funny when I was drawing that out because to be honest, I never saw myself actually drawing out loads of little baby items. But the volume of stuff that I have to carry around for Leia is amazingly different to what I carry for myself. Because I don't even put my purse in my bag or my phone, that's normally in my pocket. I did put that on there, but it's not normally in my bag, it's normally in my pocket. So there's like the spare clothes for her, the nappies, the bum cream, the poo bags, the bottles, milk, all the toys, that sort of stuff. To be fair I kind of went a bit easy on it because my bag is a lot, normally a lot more overloaded than that. But um, yeah, the only thing I do have is the little sketchbook and one mechanical pencil and whichever coloured pencil crayon I pick out. And most of the time I don't even carry that around with me when I go out because I don't get time to draw when I'm out anymore. I've got a baby with me so there's no way I'd have time to draw. So most of the time I do end up just drawing on receipts or something like that if I get any time. But that's it's not very often anymore. It's draw drawing nap times or when she's in bed, that's about it. But yeah. When I was doing the drawing for me and her, I really wanted to show parts of me that people don't know and it wouldn't be obvious straight away. Like I'm first was when I was drawing me out. I wanted to make sure I got as close to my true size as I could. I think I was a bit generous, but I don't know. Everyone sees themselves differently, don't they? But I'm, I know I'm not on the smaller side, so I wanted to make sure I got my belly in there. But I wanted to definitely make sure my little mummy pouch at the bottom was there, because that's something I'll always be proud of. I don't want to lose that, even when, because I will, when I lose weight a little bit. I don't want to lose that because that's something I'm really proud of because you know it's proof that I've had a child and I know it's only going to probably get a bit saggier with each child because I want more but I don't care I think that's nice but with Leia as well I wanted to make sure there was the rainbow on her somewhere so I put it on her tights because she's a little rainbow baby which if people don't know what that is it's a child that's born after a miscarriage so yeah I won't go into that on this video. But I wanted to try and make sure there was those little things in there because then it gives the piece more meaning to me 
but it also it does hint to other people that know about these things so they'd see it and think oh so that person has been through that okay but you know I'm still not letting it get to me and everything and I wanted you guys to find out a little bit more about me but not in an overly obvious way so yeah but I think it came out really well when I was doing my likes and dislikes though I was a bit unsure on what I wanted to do the likes most of the time I'm okay and I know what I like but then at the minute my likes are sort of transitioning at the minute they're, so, they're all changing because some things I you know that's the generic you like reading and obviously I like drawing because I do art but then reading yes I do enjoy it but I don't do it because I don't get time because my spare time I'm drawing instead so I was like should I put that on there should I not put that on there same with anime I used to watch that all the time but I don't anymore because again spare time goes towards YouTube and drawing instead sometimes I might be able to stick the odd one on in the background but it is something that still influences me and I still enjoy it when I do get a chance to watch it so that's why I did still put it on there but the dislikes one was probably the most awkward but oh well we got through it anyway thank you for watching I hope you will join me for the upload every day in February and I will see you next time. So again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.